automatically add your youtube channel views and subscribers to notion on the daily basis so here what will happen every day the views and subscribers data will be fetched up automatically from my youtube channel and the stats will be saved automatically in notion in this way me and my team can keep a track record on all the stats directly from the notion itself and i don't even need to share the access of my youtube studio with my team and not just into the notion one can collect the sub subscribers and views data in google sheets ms excel and airtable as well want to learn how you can also automate this process come with me and i will show you the whole process step by step and to automate this process i'll have to build a connection in youtube and notion application and i'm going to do that with the pabli connect well it is an integration and automation software and i am an existing user so here you can see i am already logged in you can also create your free account in just 2 minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test this automation now once you will reach to the dashboard click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have provided i have pasted the name as get stats okay it should not be gets okay get stats from from channel and add to notion daily okay now click on create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you so these are trigger and action so here trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this okay understand with an example let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application okay so generally we always select the applications in which we are building an automation but currently in our case we are going to select the scheduler which is an amazing feature of pabli connect now why i am selecting scheduler instead of youtube application because i want that this automation should run every day on the daily basis okay so that is why the trigger step here will be the schedule and here it is asking that how often you want want to run your workflow so i would like to run my workflow on the daily basis because i would like to fetch all my subscribers and views data on the daily basis okay here you can also specify the timing so let's say i want to fetch the details 8 in the morning or maybe 8:30 in the morning all right so i have selected the timing as 8:30 pm okay i think it has not selected let me select the same once again 8 all right so the timing is selected clicking on this button save and you will see my automatic mission my workflow will be scheduled for every day okay so this is going to execute on this 831 timing okay now every day at this specific time what will happen what should be the next step so here in the action application i will search for the youtube application and then i am going to fetch the stats of my youtube channel okay so in the action event we will be searching we will be selecting which particular action event basically this get channel stats okay uh so i have selected the same simply click on connect then click on add new connection and then you will have to provide the access of your youtube account but i have already provided this access earlier so instead of going with the new connection i can also go with the existing connection so i have selected the same clicking on save and this is how my youtube channel will be connected with the pabli connect now here you can notice that it is asking me the youtube channel id so the whatever the channel whose data you would like to fetch you'll have to provide the id of that channel okay so how and from where you can get this id so this is my youtube studio application and from the url of this application i can receive i can get the channel id okay make sure that you take the part after the channel and before the videos and these two slash should not be taken okay so let me paste the same and then clicking on this button and you will notice that a response will be received and in that response i have my stats okay so the response is received already let me show you the details one by one so here we have received the kind the e tag page info total results page info results page okay so let me directly take you to the stats thing okay so here you can notice i have the name of the channel i have the view count and finally i have the subscribers count as well well this is just a demo channel so that is why i have a single subscriber and very few views 
account okay so don't worry about that when you will apply the same step in your case you will get the view counts and subscriber counts as per your channel stats okay once you have the stats what should be the next step basically we should add we want to add all the details in notion okay so after that i'll click on this plus icon and search for the notion application and in this application just like we have built the connection in youtube and pabli connect now i will be connecting this notion and pabli connect before that i will select this create database item action event okay so click on connect click on add new connection click on connect with notion and then you'll have to provide the access of your notion account well i am already logged in in notion application into a different tab so instead of asking me the access it is asking me the permission so let me provide the access to all the pages all right so here you can notice i have created the page with the name all comments of youtube video i think the name should not be this okay let me correct the name okay i think the name of this page should be all youtube channel stats okay the name should be all youtube channel stats all right so i have updated the name let me come back here clicking on this button once again and here you can notice all youtube channel stats the name has been updated clicking on allow access and this is how my notion application will be also connected with the public connect all right you can notice the authorization is successful okay so after the connection it will ask you to select the database so here you can notice whatever the databases i have created inside my notion account have started visible here so here you can notice employee details inquiry list all youtube channel stats and these pages are visible here also that is inquiry details employee details is all youtube channel stats okay so i have selected the page that is all youtube channel stats let me close this section i can also close this landing page now it is asking for the day total subscribers total views now from where this data came from okay so let me show you whatever the columns i have added inside my notion page have started visible here okay so currently i have date total number of video on channel total views and subscribers four columns in total and these four columns are visible here only okay you can notice total number of video on channel the views the subscribers and date and this is just a default field the default column now i'm going to provide the details one by one so from where i'm going to provide the data remember we have received the data into our previous step and don't worry i don't even need to manually copy this data and paste it here i am going to map this data mapping is very simple you just need to click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down let me search for the subscriber count all right so here we have a single subscriber only let me also search for the views count all right i have 56 views asking for the number of video on channel i'll have to check how many videos in actual i have on my channel all right so this is the video count that is 12 i have 12 videos on my youtube channel in total it is also asking for the date okay so i would like to add the date of current date okay so from where i will fetch i can fetch this current date well it is also very easy with the pabli connect before this notion application click on this plus icon once again and search for the date and time format of feature well it is an amazing feature of pabli connect via which you can apply different kind of amazing operation within your date and this time i will select this current date clicking on connect and then it will ask you that in which particular format you would like to receive the date okay so i would like to receive the date in this ddmmyy format and i do not want to include any time stamp so i will keep it as false only clicking on this button save and send test request and you will notice that this feature will give me the date of today's date the current date now i can easily map the today's date here but if i will click on this field you will notice that the recent data is not visible in this drop down so either i will have to refresh this automation but in that case my step will be removed okay so let me show you an interesting trick simply click on this connect button and click on 
on save and this is how the automation will be refreshed your step will not be removed and you will be able to access the recent data also okay so here we have the current date so i have mapped the date the subscribers views and total number of videos on channel and this was the default column okay now you must be thinking that what is this mapping so whatever the details you will map here these details will replace automatically when this automation will work in next time and if you will provide any detail manually here that detail will remain same okay so this is the difference and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation now i am going to click on this button save and send test request fingers crossed and i'm really expecting this data to be saved automatically in notion here you can notice the positive response is received let me go back to the notion application and here you can notice the current date is added here total number of video on channel is added here total views total subscribers data is also added here okay so now onwards what will happen every day this automation will be executed automatically in real time so every day the scheduler will run and it will fetch the stats and then it will add the stats in this notion and it will also fetch the current date and this is how the data in our notion will be updated automatically on the daily basis and to automate this process you need to create this automation inside public connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because public connect will take care of all the task in the back end okay just in case if you want to access this automation i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box simply click on this link and sign up into the public connect and you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your public connect account that for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals If you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video